Hey everyone, it's the Vegan Foodie here. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if this is your first time checking out my channel. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. It's the Vegan Foodie. Um, F-O-O-D-E. So listen, I'm so excited about today's vlog. You know, the month of September, I've been working on myself. So I got some updates about what's been going on with me, my life, my money, myself, and my brand. So stay tuned. into it first and foremost okay so you guys know that I've been really in depth about everything I've been going through as far as the month of September I was fixing my credit I was fixing my teeth I was fixing my skin I was even getting my body contour shout out to Dr. Don Bodies and I was showing you the process right so one of the things that um, I also did was I touched on spirituality and I created the meditation video so if you haven't checked that out make sure you hit that that'll be available at the end of this video but it was so many things that I was doing right so you guys know that I'm always giving you information as far as like to the source flat out that's where you're going right make sure you hit the link in my description and the link in my bio for the Amazon store because everything that I talk about in my videos all of the herbs all of the products they're available to you so make sure you check out the store I create a list just for us right but anyway we're talking about spirituality spirituality today and I feel like basically I had to you know bring this source to you and so one of the things that I was really prominent on in the month of September was not only working on myself financially but working on myself mentally spiritually emotionally um physically the whole nine and I'm still going because I have something that's coming up in the next vlog about what we're doing in September because you guys know I love a good challenge so anyway I wanted to introduce you to this man because we just gonna we just gonna slice it up and we're gonna give it to you raw today on this vlog. So when it talks about spirituality, that's something that's very important to my life. So I decided to give you guys the source. And also he has a TikTok. So he just got on TikTok, so he'll be having this information on TikTok. And if you have not followed me on TikTok, make sure you follow me. It's the vegan foodie everywhere. Take out the eye. We there, okay? But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and let him formally introduce himself. Alright, salam my name is Tata Mundele, Brazo Fuerte, but you can just call me Tata Mundele. Okay, so basically, okay, what you guys don't know is that um, all of the things that I talk about from the chakra cleansing to the sigils to the manifestation, the affirmations, the meditations, this is something that is very prominent in my life, right? But also there are things that we haven't talked about um, that we're going to talk about today. Just kind of give you a little bit of insight into the world, my world of spirituality, and in addition to what I eat, what I'm thinking, the things that I am doing spiritually to help myself. So go ahead and give these guys and gals a little rundown. Okay, cool. So in Salam Aleikum, right? Um, greetings and blessings. Uh, the tradition that I am a part of is called Balo Mayombe. Um, Balo Mayombe, we, in Balo we deal with the natural energies of this earth, Mother Nature. Uh, uh, many of you may know and be familiar with Ifa, Cariocha, Santaria, all those Afro-Cuban traditions and religions. So Balo, Balo is like that little dark secret nobody wants to talk about. Um, there's a lot of parallels involved with the Cariocha and the Palo Mayombe. For example, you may have in Sasi and Palo, and then you have Chango in the Cariocha and the Ifa. So there's a lot of parallels, but totally different traditions. In Palo, we are considered, uh, Tata is a word for father. I am a father of the dead. We work with the spirits of the dead um, and in direct contact uh, with them. It's a very strong, uh, um, powerful tradition. Um, a lot of things that we do, uh, we deal directly with Mother Nature. For example, we may go to the river and acknowledge Chola Wenge. Uh, we may go to uh, the cemetery and then you know, we uh, may acknowledge the spirit of Indoki, which is a raw power. So 
um, in these traditions, what we do is we, we aim to help. There's good and bad in everything. You know, in Christianity, you have the devil and you got Jesus. You know what I mean? So kind of same, same. It just depends on the heart of the data, the practitioner. So, you know, sometimes we have to do what we have to do to protect ourselves uh, and our families. Um, and, you know, but for the majority of the time, what we do is we heal, we try to help, and we try to give light. Um, I'll give a, a quick little analogy of what I'm talking about. For example, if you have a, a, a room, a living room, right, foyer, and the kitchen's this way, and the dining room's that way, and the library's that way, but the lights are off, a bunch of furniture. You're trying to get to the kitchen, what's gonna happen? You're gonna bump yourself, you might fall down to the dining room, you're definitely gonna hit yourself, stub your toe. So in these traditions, I would like to consider them the light switch. You turn on the light, now you can see what's in front of you, right? So with Bala, we're able to, you're able to see and, and avoid situations, or there's a situation you might wanna get to, and we can help with that, you know what I mean? So it's that that's a, a pretty short and sweet analogy uh, of what we do in these traditions. Um, I think uh, what I wanna get into is the importance of um, these these traditions in the spirituality as far as a day-to-day -day, um, and, and being proactive in your life. These traditions have um, been around way before Christianity and these established uh, religions. Um, we've been doing this a long time. Our people have been doing this a long time. You know, we this is how we acknowledge, you know, uh, Mother Nature, Source Energy. You know, uh, we've we proactive, we don't let life happen to us. We, we, we're active in, in what's going on. We're, we're helping create our realities through acknowledgement of, of what our ancestors did all the time. If you really wanna know yourself, get to know your ancestors. And we are in an ancestor-driven uh, tradition. Um, I can go on and on and on, but I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna leave it right there. I look forward to doing a lot of this stuff on TikTok. I'm gonna be giving a lot of information um, I'll do quick little little spells that you guys can do um, out of your, your kitchen cabinet. Real simple. It's all about intent. It's all about what's in your heart. Um, you, we, I, we have so much power um, as individuals and tapping into that power through your ancestors is amazing. Uh, I'll also be going over, um, you know, likes and dislikes. Uh, kinds of do's and don'ts within the tradition. You know, I'll have fun with it. Now, as we go, I'll create more stuff and try to figure it out. It's a new thing for me. I'm kind of like a, like my, my, my tata, he says all the time, he's a caveman. So, you know, with the same, same kind of with this situation, because it's new, but I look forward to it and thank you. So, um, now in terms of, because let's, let's get into it, just real quick, we're not gonna go too much in this video, we'll break it down, but let's get into the book as far as um, spirituality and just the importance of how it helps us on a day to day, because I think that a lot of people take for granted, or a lot of people are non um, acknowledgement of the fact that we can literally manifest and create the things that, like you said, we create our own reality. We don't search for something to come from our, from our outside source; it comes from within. And so, for me, once I started to grasp that um, on a spiritual level, when it comes to Oshun and, and and things of that nature. Um, life became a little bit more of um, just like earth, you know what I'm saying? As, as far as like I felt, I felt grounded, grounded and felt like, okay, this isn't about this one particular thing. It's me being on earth and earth is mine for abundance, right? And so for me, I live my life. I wake up every morning and I say, you know, abundance is my birthright. And, and then I start my day, you know? And so for me, it's like when I started to get into spirituality, that's when these things made sense. So I wanna, I, because I'm, I'm really doing this for women, you know, to understand that we are goddesses. Like my shirt, y'all see my shirt, Vegan Goddess Vibes. It's also available, click the link below. But vegan, you know, Vegan Goddess Vibes is what I'm about, you know, and it's a tribe of us. So this is for us. You know, this is this is our time for us to not be afraid of that and to embrace it. And so we have a few, you know, baby or infant goddesses that are watching, that are tuning in. So let's give them a little bit of tips of the pros when it comes to when you embrace the spirituality. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. No